Right, good morning. The uh, court is going to take up the next case on the court's docket. This is cause number C200030 CPS. This is in the interest of uh, Jason Gorty. The uh, case is set for a bench trial today. The uh, trial is being conducted and sent to emergency orders of the Texas Supreme Court is in video conference. Participating in the um, trial today on behalf of the uh, department is uh, caseworker Deb Deborah Putnam and regional attorney Jason Jett. The um, mother of the child is Destiny Callaway and I'll confirm in a moment whether Ms. Callaway's on her conference. Christy Manning is her attorney at Lightman and Ms. Manning is participating in the conference. The father of the child is Jason Duarte Sr. And I'll also confirm in a moment whether he's on our conference. Chantel McKillop is the attorney of record for Mr. Duarte and Ms. McKillop is not, or Ms. McKillop is not currently present. Emmett Fleming is the attorney and guardian ad litem for the uh, child and Mr. Fleming is also not currently present. Uh, let me first confirm, Mr. Jed, are you able to hear me? Hello? Mr. Jett, are you able to hear me? Yes, Your Honor, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. And I would know for the record, Chantel McKillop is uh, now participating in the hearing today. Right. Um, let me confirm, is uh, Dustin Callaway on our conference? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good, thank you. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Mr. Dwar Jason Dorothy Sr. Yes, Mr. I'm here. Okay, thank you. All right. Um, they'll stand by for just a minute. I don't see Mr. Fleming participating in our hearing today. Let me see if I can get a hold of him real quick. They'll stand by for just a moment.
All right, the uh, court is going to go back on the record in cause number C200030 CPS. This is in the interest of Jason Duarte and Child. The, uh, as I noted earlier, the case is set for a bench trial today. I believe all parties and counsel previously present remain present. Uh, make sure Ms. McKellop is back with Ms. McKellop. Are you still on? I'm on, Judge. Yes, sir. Okay, and Ms. Fleming is uh, participating uh, the, uh, as the attorney and guardian ad litem for the child. The child is excused by the court from participating in today's hearing. All right, uh, Mr. Jett, is the department ready to proceed? Your Honor, we are. Um, if uh, we could get uh, all the attorneys in a breakout room briefly, um, I believe we reached an agreement recently but then there's been some a couple of things that have happened in there that we need to modify our agreement just a little bit and then i think we'll be able to come back and, and announce an agreement all right and if there's no objection for the other attorneys i'm gonna put mr jet uh miss manning miss mckillop and mr fleming in a breakout room so they can confer i mean how much time do you think you need mr jet oh no more than five minutes or so your honor Okay, well, I'll bring y'all back in and that'll show 11.26. Uh, so I'll give y'all about five minutes. If y'all stand by, I'll send y'all an invitation. Thank you. All right, the attorney should be getting an invitation to join that breakout room. If you'll go in there, I'll, I'll bring y'all back in in about five minutes. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. Thank you. I apologize for delaying getting started. If y'all just stand by, we'll uh, try to resume the trial here in just a couple minutes and bring this resolution up. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, Mr. Drake, I'm going to bring them back in for the breakout room now. All right, uh, we are back on the record in C200030 CPS in the interest of Jason Duarte. All par parties and counsel, please be present, remain present. And Mr. Jett, were y'all able to really confer? Yes, Your Honor, uh, and I believe we have an agreement. Uh, okay. If there's no objection, I'll ask Mr. Jett to state for the record what he believes the agreement may be, and then I'll confirm with the other counsel that. And in fact, their agreement. Go ahead, Mr. Jett. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, the parties agree that the father, uh, Jason Duarte Sr., will be named as the sole managing conservator, and the mother will then have then be named as the possessory conservator. She will have visits on Saturdays uh, from 1 to 1 p.m. to 3 p.m., supervised by the father or his designee. Uh, she can move up to unsupervised visits after three clean hair tests at her expense, which must be at least one month apart. She must give 48 hours notice that she intends to exercise the visitation. If she doesn't have any notice, then that can be canceled at uh, Mr. Duarte's discretion. The mother is to pay support for one child in the case and one child out of the case. Uh, and that's been rounded to 175 uh, dollars per month, which is roughly in line with minimum wage support for one child in, one child out, and $25 cash medical, and all of that would begin on October 1. Currently, the mother is in uh, rehab, and the visits that we've outlined won't work with the time that she's allowed for uh, certain types, for any kind of visits during rehab. So until she's released from rehab, she'll get virtual visits which will be time adjusted for what's available to her, but at least 15 minutes once per week. And then, uh, then so, what, uh, what's the uh, agreement relating to medical? $25 cash medical. Dad will uh, be responsible for uh, insurance or appropriate medical program and 50-50 on anything unpaid. And let me go back through that just to make sure the mother's the so I mean the father's the sole man you conservator, the mother is a possessory conservator. While she is in inpatient rehab, she will have virtual visits of at least 15 minutes per week. Um, once she's released, her visits will be on Saturdays from 1 to 3 p.m., supervised by the father or his designee. The um, Visits can move up to the visits can move up to unsupervised visits uh, upon her providing at her expense three clean hair follicle tests reflecting that she's negative for any illegal substances. And would the visits still be the same time frame? They'd just be unsupervised from one to three on Saturday. Is that what we're saying? That's my understanding, yes, Your Honor. Uh, she has to get 48 hours notice uh, of the intent to exercise a period of visitation. And if she fails to do so, that visit can be suspended. Child support is... Uh, excuse me. Child support is $175 per month. Uh, cash medical support is 25 per month. That all starts October 1st, 2021. And then uh, the uh, father will be responsible for obtaining health and dental insurance for the child. And uh, the parents would pay 50-50 any uh, uninsured medical expenses or dental expenses of the child. Is that what your agreement is, Mr. Jett? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah, I'll start next uh, with uh, Ms. McKellop. Is that your understanding of the agreement? That's correct, Judge. Okay, and Ms. Manning? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And uh, Mr. Plummer. Yes, Judge. Thank you. 
Okay, and as I understand, the uh, parties requesting the court didn't proceed to enter judgment based on the agreement. That correct? Yes, right. Your Honor. All right, well, thank you all for working this out. The uh, court will uh, approve the agreement as announced. The uh, court will make the findings orders consistent with that agreement uh, to provide that the father is the sole man and conservator of the child with the exclusive right to designate the primary residence of the child without geographic restriction and with all the other rights and duties of a parent sole managing conservator under applicable law. Mother, uh, Ms. Callaway, is appointed as the poss possessory conservator of the child with her visitation to be as uh, indicated earlier in the agreement and subject to the restrictions and requirements relating to that visitation. Uh, child support will be $175 per month, uh, commencing October 1st, 2021, and payable on the first day of each month thereafter until terminated pursuant to applicable law. Cash medical support will be $25 per month and be paid contemporaneously with the uh, child support and terminated at the same point. The uh, father, Mr. Duarte, is responsible for obtaining health and dental insurance for the child or enrolling the uh, child in applicable government benefit programs that provide such coverage. And the uh, parents will each pay 50% of any uninsured medical or dental expenses of the child not covered by health insurance, dental insurance or government benefit program. The uh, department is dismissed as temporary mandate conservator of the child and Ms. Manning and Mr. Fleming uh, are discharged from their appointments 31 days after entry of the final order by the court reflecting the findings and orders and the judgment announced by the court today. And I believe that addresses everything in the case. Uh, again, appreciate all the uh, parties uh, working this out. And Ms. Galloway, Mr. Ward, I wish you all the best of luck in the future. Right. Unless there's anything else, uh, we'll be adjourned for the day. Thank you, Judge. Thank you.